Namaste students. In our previous video, we have studied about the different atomic properties and the different physical properties of the elements of oxygen family. Today, in this video, we will study some of the chemical properties of the oxygen family. So, without any delay, let's get started. So students, first we will take the first chemical property that is the oxidation state. Now, the elements of the oxygen family shows two different types of oxidation state. First one is negative oxidation state and second one is the positive oxidation state. So, the elements of the Oxygen family shows two types of oxidation state, negative oxidation state and positive oxidation state. First of all, we will take negative oxidation state. Now, in negative oxidation state, the first member of this family that is oxygen. Due to its high electronegativity, oxygen shows an oxidation state of minus 2 in most of its compound. Due to its high electronegativity, Oxygen shows an oxidation state of minus 2 in most of its compounds. Besides minus 2 oxidation state, oxygen also shows minus 1 oxidation state in peroxides. Minus 1 oxidation states in peroxides like hydrogen peroxide and minus half oxidation state in superoxides. Minus half oxidation state in superoxides. So, being electronegative and small in size, the oxygen of this family shows an oxidation state of minus 2 in majority of its compound. Except minus 2, oxygen also shows two more negative oxidation states. They are minus 1 and minus half. Because of less electronegativity and larger size, the other elements of this group, that is the oxygen family, the other elements of this group have lesser tendency to form the minus 2 oxidation state. It means as we move down the group, as we move down the group, tendency to show minus 2 oxidation state decreases. Tendency to show minus 2 oxidation state decreases. Why tendency to show minus oxidation state decreases? Because as we move down the group, electronegativity decreases and size increases. Therefore, tendency to show minus 2 oxidation state decreases. And polonium is uh, the least electronegative element. The, pol uh, the least electronegative element of this family, that is the polonium, do not show minus oxidation state at all. Means we, uh, we didn't get any compound of the polonium in which the oxidation state of polonium is minus. So, oxygen, sulfur, selenium and tellurium. These four shows minus of oxidation state. But down the group tendency to show minus oxidation state decreases. Minus 2 oxidation state decreases. And polonium is the, uh, polonium is the element of this family which do not show minus oxidation state which do not show negative oxidation state at all now next if i talk about the positive oxidation state second one is the positive oxidation state now the elements of this group not oxygen the elements of this group shows three uh, positive oxidation state plus two plus four and plus six plus two plus four and plus six if we talk about oxygen, except O2F2 and OF2, except O2F2 and OF2, oxygen do not show positive oxidation state. Means in these two compounds, the oxygen, oxygen shows a positive oxidation state, but except these two compounds, oxygen doesn't show any positive oxidation state in any of the compounds. And if I talk about the other members, suppose sulfur, I have sulfur. Now the outermost configuration of the sulfur is S2P4, S2P4 and the D orbital is empty. D orbital is empty. Now when we have the configuration like this in our ground state, then sulfur shows an oxidation state of plus 2. Sulfur shows an oxidation state of plus 2. Now, 
सपोज इफ वन ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रॉन जम्प फ्रॉम पी टू डी वन ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रॉन जम्प फ्रॉम पी टू डी नाउ इफ वी हैव दिस टाइप ऑफ ग्राउंड स्टेट इफ वी हैव दिस टाइप ऑफ ग्राउंड स्टेट देन द ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट शोज बाय एन एटम इज प्लस टू इफ वी हैव सच टाइप ऑफ ग्राउंड स्टेट इफ द एलिमेंट शोज सच टाइप ऑफ ग्राउंड स्टेट देन वी गेट प्लस फोर ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट एंड इफ वी गेट the configuration like this in the excited state in the excited state then we get the oxidation state of plus 6 so in this way we will get the oxidation state of plus 2 plus 4 and plus 6 in other elements of this family except oxygen why we didn't get in oxygen because of the absence of the d orbital so in oxygen in o2f2 and of2 we have plus oxidation state except these two compound we don't have any positive oxidation state for oxygen and other element shows plus 2 plus 4 and plus 6 oxidation state and it depends upon the uh, configuration of those elements in their excited state now if we talk about the stability of plus 6 oxidation state if we talk about the stability of plus 6 oxidation state so as we move down the group means from sulfur to polonium as we move down the group the stability of plus 6 oxidation state decreases the stability of plus 6 oxidation state decreases why decreases because of inert pair effect because of inert pair effect and because of this reason the uh, most stable oxidation state means plus 6 is most stable in case of sulfur and least stable in case of polonium why because of the inert pair effect so as we move down the group the stability of plus 6 oxidation state decreases due to the inert pair effect and because of this reason plus 6 oxidation state is most stable in case of sulfur and least stable in case of polonium now there is a general uh, property of the uh, compounds of this family that if uh, the compounds of if the compounds of sulfur selenium and tellurium with oxygen if we have compounds of compounds of sulfur selenium and tellurium with oxygen for example so2 this is a compound of sulfur with oxygen so if we have compounds of sulfur selenium and tellurium with oxygen then then the element shows plus 4 oxidation state then the element shows plus 4 oxidation state it is a general trend it is a common trend that the compounds of sulfur selenium and tellurium with oxygen if we have such type of compound then in these compounds the elements sulfur selenium and tellurium are present in plus 4 oxidation state and these compounds behaves these compound behaves or shows these compound shows oxidizing and reducing properties oxidizing and reducing properties 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 and if we have compounds of sulfur selenium and tellurium with fluorine if we have compounds of sulfur selenium and tellurium with fluorine then these compound then these element shows plus 6 oxidation state then these element shows plus 6 oxidation state like sf6 so in sf6 the oxidation state of sulfur is plus 6 so in that case the compounds in that case the compound shows only oxidizing property only oxidizing properties clear so this is all about the oxidation state the elements of this family shows two types of oxidation state negative and positive oxygen being electronegative and small in size shows oxidation state of minus 2 in majority of its compound beside minus 2 this oxygen also shows minus 1 and minus half oxidation state in peroxides and superoxides 
tendency to form minus 2 oxidation state decreases as we move down the group due to the decrease in the electronegativity if we talk about positive oxidation state oxygen shows only uh, oxygen shows positive oxidation state in only two compound that is o2f2 and of2 except this we didn't get uh, any compound of oxygen in which the oxidation state of oxygen is positive except oxygen the other element shows positive oxidation state of plus 2 plus 4 and plus 6 and the tendency to show plus uh, higher oxidation state decreases on moving down the group due to the inert pair effect and if we talk about the general uh, properties then the compounds of sulfur selenium and tellurium with oxygen shows an oxidation state of plus 4 and in these compounds the uh, these compounds uh, shows both oxidizing as well as the reducing properties whereas if the compound is made with the fluorine then the oxidation state of the element is plus 6 and then these compounds shows only oxidizing property now we'll take another chemical property that is the reactivity towards hydrogen we will take the second chemical property that is the reactivity towards hydrogen so when when uh, the elements of the oxygen family reacts with hydrogen then they form hydrides what they form hydrides so reactivity towards hydrogen So elements of the oxygen family reacts with the hydrogen to form hydrides of general formula H2E. Of H2E means H2O, H2S, H2SE, H2TE and H2PO. So all the elements of oxygen family combine with hydrogen to form hydrides of general formula H2E. This is the introduction, means this is a little bit introduction. Now, first of all, if I talk about the uh, preparation of the hydrides, means the preparation of the hydrides of this family, then the hydrides of sulfur, selenium and tellurium are prepared by the action of the acids on metal sulfides metal selenides and metal tellurides for example i have fes for example i have fes so when this fes reacts with acidic solution means h3o positive means the aqueous solution which is acidic in nature when this combined with this then we get fe2 positive plus h2s plus h2 so how we can prepare? We can prepare the hydrides of sulfur, selenium and tellurium by the action of the acids on metal sulfide. This is metal sulfide. In the similar way when I react, uh, when I take metal selenide then I will get hydrogen selenide and when I get, uh, when I take metal telluride then I get hydrogen telluride. So, by treating metal sulfide, metal selenide and metal telluride with the acid, we get the corresponding hydride of the uh, 16th group element of the oxygen family. This is the preparation. Now, if I talk about the structure, this one is the preparation. If I talk about the structure, the center element of these hydrides have sp3 hybridization means the elements of oxygen family forming hydride shows an hybridization state of sp3 and due to sp3 hybridization the geometry should be tetrahedral but it is not tetrahedral why because of the presence of two lone pair so because of the presence of two lone pair because of the presence of two lone pair the shape is the shape is angular shape the shape is angular shape and because of the presence of two lone pair the bond angle in the first member of this family that is h2o the first hydride of this family that is h2o is less than the tetrahedral angle and is equals to 104.5 degree 
what is the tetrahedral angle that is 109 109 degree but due to the presence of lone pair in h2o the bond angle becomes 104.5 degree and as we move from h2o to h2po as we move from h2o to h2po bond angle decreases bond angle decreases now why bond angle decreases this is the structure e h h one lone pair and two lone pair this e means oxygen sulfur selenium tellurium and polonium so as we move from oxygen to polonium what happen size increases and electronegativity decreases due to the decrease in the electronegativity the bond pair electron moves away from e this is e in oxygen the bonded electron are towards the oxygen as a result of which there is a bond pair bond pair repulsion but in polonium the bonds are more shifted towards the hydrogen as a result of which the there is lesser amount of bond pair bond pair repulsion as a result of which they come close together and when they come close together bond angle decreases so as we move down the group what happen electron moves away from the central atom due to their decrease in electronegativity as electron moves away from the central atom what happen their bond pair bond pair repulsion decreases and due to the decrease in the bond pair bond pair repulsion what happen bond angle decreases so as we move down the group bond angle decreases so preparation in this way we can prepare second thing the structure that is the structure is sp3 structure is sp3 and because of the presence of two lone pair the shape is angular shape and bond angle decreases as we move down the group now next property is if we take the properties if we take the property first property we take that is color color order and state if i take the first property so if i take the hydride of oxygen the hydride of oxygen that is h2o the hydride of oxygen that is h2o is colorless orderless liquid the hydride of oxygen is colorless orderless liquid but the hydrides of other elements of this family are unpleasant foul smelling poisonous gases foul smelling poisonous gases this is our first property that the hydride of oxygen is colorless orderless uh, liquid but the hydrides of other members of this particular group are unpleasant foul smelling and poisonous gases second property we will take that is volatility second property is volatility now the volatility of these compound first increases from h2o to h2s the volatility first increases from h2o to h2s and then decreases from h2s to h2po so volatility what uh, volatility volatility means tendency to form vapors so tendency to form vapors first increases from h2o to h2s and then decreases and then decreases or we can say that boiling point first decreases from h2o to h2s and then increases and then increases because we know that if uh, vapors uh, are easily formed by a particular compound then what happen then uh, boiling point decreases and if vapors are uh, not easily formed by the compounds then the boiling point increases so first volatility increases from h2o to h2s and then decreases or boiling point first decreases from h2o to h2s and then increases now the reason behind this first of all if we talk about h2o 
if we talk about H2O, due to the tendency to form hydrogen bonding, due to the tendency to form hydrogen bonding, the boiling point of H2O is the uh, greatest among the other elements, other compounds of these elements, other compounds of this group. Means if we talk about H2O, H2S, H2SE, H2T and H2PO, then the greatest boiling point is of water and because of the tendency to form hydrogen bonding. So as we move from H2O to H2S, the tendency to form hydrogen bonding decreases as a result of which boiling point decreases. But as we move from H2S to H2SE, H2TE and H2PO, what happened? Van der Waal force of attraction increases. And due to the increase in the Van der Waal force of attraction, the boiling point of other three are greater than that of the H2S. And because of this reason, boiling point first decreases and then increases. So the order becomes, so the order becomes H2S, H2SE, H2TE, H2PO and H2O. In this, the reason is bond of all force of attraction and in this, the reason is hydrogen bond. Next, we will talk about the thermal stability. Next, we will talk about the thermal stability. So, as we move down the group, as we move down the group, what happened? The distance uh, between the hydrogen and the central atom increases. Due to the increase in the distance, bond strength decreases. And due to the decrease in the bond strength, thermal stability decreases. So, on moving down the group, on moving, on moving down the group, Thermal stability decreases. Thermal stability decreases. Why decreases? Due to the increase in the bond length, bond strength decreases and due to the decrease in the bond strength, thermal stability decreases. Next, we will talk about reducing character. Next, we will talk about reducing character. Except H2O. Except H2O, all the hydrides of this family acts as a reducing agent. All hydrides acts as reducing agent. Now, why hydrogen uh, do not act as, a, why uh, water do not act as a reducing agent? Because as we move down the group, what happened? Uh, bond, bond length increases. Due to the increase in the bond length, bond strength decreases. And it becomes very easy for the central atom to release the hydrogen. And as a result of which, reduce, they act as a reducing agent. But water doesn't act as a reducing agent. So except water, all other hydrides act as a reducing agent because of weak bond strength between the uh, met, uh, between the element and the hydrogen atom. Next is the acidic character. Next is the acidic character. Acidic character. Now, all the hydrides of oxygen family, all the hydrides of oxygen family behave as weak diprotic acid. Behave as weak diprotic acid acid and dissociates in two steps and dissociates in two steps. First step H2E gives H E negative plus H positive and in second H E negative gives E2 negative plus H positive. So the hydrides of oxygen family behave as weak diprotic acid and dissociates in two steps and as we move down the group what happened acidic character increases due to the decrease in the uh, bond strength and because of this uh, because of this reason h2o is the weakest acid and h2p 
PO is the strongest and the strongest acid among H2O, H2S, H2SE, H2TE and H2PO. So in this video, we will talk about only these two uh, chemical properties. The other chemical properties we will take in our next video.